Hey everyone, and welcome back to Alex Lifeson Month here on my channel. Two days left, I think, maybe. Uh, like I mentioned previously, I put together too much content uh, to fit into 30 days. So I may just upload everything uh, that didn't make the cut over the next couple of days. Probably without all the commentary and whatnot, because I can't just let it sit on my hard drive doing nothing, I suppose. Regardless, today on 30 Days of Lurks, as you already saw, is the solo to Working Man from Rush's debut album, the very long guitar solo to Working Man, and I didn't even include the, the first solo along with it. Now, I've been asked over and over again for a tutorial for this solo, and I kept putting it off over and over again, because basically I had forgotten how to play it. Uh, and in order to do a tutorial, I would have to relearn it. And I honestly just didn't have the energy to sit down and relearn this long beast of a guitar solo. Until now, that is. Uh, so all you guys out there, uh, guys and gals out there, pestering me non-stop for a tutorial for this one, and I really don't mind because I did promise it and didn't follow through, uh, I'll have it up in a day or two to close out Alex Life's a Month. Now then, this bloody guitar solo, uh, legendary, I think it's fair to say, nearly four minutes of Alex just going off as a young lad of 20 or 21 years old back in 1974. Now, is it a bit sloppy here and there? Sure, it's a bit sloppy here and there. It uh, doesn't matter in the least. Uh, Alex was young, full of fire, ambition, potential, and was priming himself to set the guitar world on fire during the latter half of the 70s and beyond. And it all started with this solo, uh, his finest homage to his own personal guitar hero, one Mr. Jimmy Page. At least one has to think, uh, as it's got Jimmy Page's feel and style written all over it. And Alex is not shy in stating that Page was without doubt the greatest early influence on his playing. Uh, that said, and I've said this before, what we're hearing here isn't so much copycatting as it is influence. Uh, Alex isn't so much stealing licks from Jimmy, he's stealing feel and style and ideas. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that in the least. Uh, that's what we all do when we're in the process of developing our own style. Just to further expound on this thought, uh, I've learned and listened to a heck of a lot of Jimmy Page and Alex Lifeson, obviously, solos especially, and there are numerous licks within this Working Man solo that I've never heard Jimmy Page play. Uh, they're 100% Alex, uh, simply channeling Page's feel and style. Uh, that said, it would only take another album or two before Lifeson would climb out from beneath the shadow of Jimmy Page and forge his own particular path and pretty much finally put those early Jimmy Page comparisons to bed. Uh, though I have to say, when Alex ramps up the speed and goes into his somewhat trademark chaos mode uh, on many of his solos from later albums, one can still hear the ghosts of Jimmy Page's influence appear now and again for sure. Regardless, great and classic early life's in solo here, and certainly one of his most well-known tough as balls to play and replicate as well. Uh, I think that's why you don't see a whole heck of a lot of covers out there for this one. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a bit of a daunting task, uh, the challenge of learning and playing this guitar solo. And also, like I said, if you just happen to be up for that challenge, please keep an eye out for the following tutorial in a day or two. Uh, well, there you have it, day 29 of Alex Life's a Month in the bag with the solo to Working Man. Certainly hope you enjoyed that, and uh, if you did, please hit that like button as always. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already as that would be awfully kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world wherever that may find you and we will see you next time. Cheers.